Greetings of the day. This is Ms. Tabisum. I hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to start a new topic that is Nuzin Mustafa's A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria. This is an extract from her memoir, Nuzin, One Girl's Incredible Journey from the War-Torn Syria in a Wheelchair in 2016. Here we'll read about a teenager who was forced to flee from the country during the Syrian war. So let's get started. Here goes A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria, written by Nuzin Mustafa. And here is the introduction to the author. Nuzin Mustafa, a Kurdish Syrian refugee and activist, was born on 1999 in Manbi, Syria, with cerebral palsy. Though she was unable to go to school because of her physical disability, Nuzin taught herself to speak fluent English at home by watching American TV programs and gained knowledge by watching quiz shows. Nuzin was born with cerebral palsy. Cerebral means something with the brain and palsy means weakness or problems using the muscle. This is basically a congenital disorder of movement, muscle tone or posture and it occurs due to abnormal brain development often before the birth of a child. And because of this, she was unable to go to school. Yet, she taught herself to speak fluent English by watching American TV programs and she also gained enormous knowledge by watching quiz shows. When war broke out in Syria, the wheelchair-bound Nuzin and her family fled to Turkey and then to Germany. She gained attention after traveling 3,500 miles by wheelchair, fleeing conflict in the Syrian civil war. Before arriving and resettling in Germany, where Nuzin finally got an opportunity to attend school. Nuzin wrote her memoir, Nuzin, One Girl's Incredible Journey from war torn Syria in a Wheelchair in 2016. The Syrian war, it broke out in 2011. And in the first five years of the war, almost 4 lakh Syrians are estimated to have been killed. More than 5.6 million Syrians have fled the country and 6.1 million people are displaced internally. This is actually a report according to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. So, when Nuzin and her family fled from Syria, they went to Turkey. And after that, they went to Germany. And after settling to Germany, Nuzin finally got an opportunity to attend the school. As I have already said that the piece of writing that we are today going to read is an extract from her memoir, Nuzin, One Girl's Incredible Journey from war torn Syria in a Wheelchair in 2016. So, let's justify the title that is A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria. Nuzin was displaced in the civil war in Syria. At age 16, she fled her Syrian homeland. She joined the massive outflow of migrants from the Middle East and North Africa, seeking a safe haven from war, extremist violence and repression. She traveled several thousand miles on a journey to Europe, but made the journey in a wheelchair as she has cerebral palsy. Nozin's positivity and resolve infuses this unforgettable story of one young woman determined to make a better life for herself. As I have said, 
that many people were leaving the country they were running away from that war like situation nuzin and her family also fled from their homeland and they joined the migrants who were also moving from there nuzin traveled a long distance while reaching to europe but she made her complete journey in a wheelchair as she has cerebral palsy here in this story we see how her positivity and determination made her live a better life now here we will see who are the characters in this story the first and foremost is nuzin mustafa who is the narrator of the story then we have nasreen she is the elder sister of nuzin nahada is also another elder sister of nuzin then we have uncle ahmed who wrote the dinghy by learning from youtube lessons then we have aunt shireen who is another refugee who lost all her valuables while the sea waves tossed their boat mahmud is another cousin of nuzin abdullah kurdi is a berber from kobain syria rehna is the wife of mr abdullah kurdi galib is the son of mr abdullah kurdi and rehana and is 5 years old and ailan is also the son of abdullah kurdi and rehana and is 3 years old here goes the chapter from the sea the island looked much further away a dark gray dinghy was very small even though we had paid extra just to be the 38 of us which was much better than the 50 or so we had seen crammed into earlier boats it was still more than double the 15 max it said on the box particularly with my wheelchair and it felt very squashed here the narrator begins from where they started their voyage as you can see that from the sea the island to which they want to go looked much further away they had hired a dark gray small boat and that boat was also too small they had to pay much money or extra money so that the boat is not filled with much people still there were 38 of them in the earlier boat they had seen that 50 or more than that people were crammed into it in the dinghy there was a box in which it was written 15 max it means maximum 15 people can be accommodated but here you can see that the boat in which nuzin and his family was to travel consisted of 38 people while the earlier boats were filled with more than 50 or so thus with so many people in a small boat they felt as if they were squeezed like everything i was doing it was my first time on a boat i felt like a 6 year old girl not a 16 year old as i have said that she was 16 years old when they were fleeing from their own homeland but as it was the very first time of her on a boat she was very excited and she was feeling like a 6 year old 
not a 16 year old. Why are you nervous? asked Nasreen. I am not nervous. I am doing everything for the first time, I replied. So, when Nasreen, her sister, asked if she was nervous, Nuzid replied that she was not nervous. Instead, she was very excited as she was doing all these things for the very first time. It's not excitement, it's fear, she said. Don't be afraid. She never showed her own fear because she knew everything she did would affect me. She was the one who knew the outside world and I took all my cues on how to react from her. So, Nasreen said that it was actually not excitement but it was fear which was actually shown on her face. And those she said, Nazin, not to be afraid. As you know that the situation then was very horrific. Every people there was terrified. But here Nasreen did not show her own fear because she knew that if she would be afraid, that fear would affect Nuzin. Nasreen was the only person who knew the outside world because as you know that due to her physical disability, she did not go out from the house. And Nuzin learned everything from Nasreen as how to react in each and every situation. Now, here goes reference to the context. The line reads, Why are you so nervous? Number 1. Name the speaker and the listener here. Answer. Nasreen is the speaker and Nuzin is the listener here. Second, why was she supposed to be nervous? Answer, she was supposed to be nervous because she was one of the many people traveling by a small boat in a choppy. It was a horrific experience. Third, what did she reply? She replied that she was not nervous rather excited, traveling by a boat for the first time. I hope you well understood the chapter. We'll be continuing the further chapter in my next lecture. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.